Dispatchers and first responders face difficult tasks when it comes to their jobs. There can be a lot of unknowns when dealing with an emergency. But a new program is trying to help that when it comes to serving people with special needs. First News reporter Kyle Alexander is live in Austin Town to explain a bit more. Good evening, Lexi. The big goal of this program is to help Mahoning County residents who may need special assistance, ensuring that they get the proper support they need when interacting with law enforcement. Now, earlier today, I came to the Austin Town Police Department and learned exactly how this new program works. The Mahoning County Prosecutor's Office is implementing a special needs registry. It's a way to help dispatchers and first responders when responding to a person with special needs, bridging gaps in communication. Some might have a condition that prevents them from being able to describe what's going on inside of them to um, police officers, first responders. The registry holds someone's identification information and conditions. It can also include special needs such as triggers like sensitivity to bright lights or loud noises. Any information that the caregiver who is registering that individual um, thinks would be helpful is also accepted. The information is directly uploaded to the county's 911 CAD system. So if a dispatcher gets a call from a person with special needs, they're automatically alerted and can better assess the type of response necessary. The more information and people we get into the program, the more opportunity we have to help. If you'd like to register for this registry, you can apply online at the Mahoning County Prosecutor's website, or you can call their office for a written application. Live in Austin Town, Kyle Alexander, WKBN 27 First News.